voice keeps on calling me down the road. That's where I'll always be. Every stop I make, I make a new friend. Can't stay for long, just turn around and I'm gone again. Maybe tomorrow I wanna settle down. Until tomorrow I'll just keep moving on. So if you wanna join me. Shortcut home. Don't go in there, boy. What's the matter, boy? Hey, where are you going? Come back. Are you all right? I don't know. Where are my glasses? I need my glasses. Here they are, here. I, I can't see anything. Oh, God, I, I can't see. What happened? There's an exercise going on. We're playing at war games. I must be using this place as a minefield. Oh, God. I think they're only using practice mines or I'd be. You're not really blind, are you? I don't know. Maybe it's just temporary. Look, we've got to find a doctor. There's always medics around here. Somewhere. Take one man and go out there and check out that explosion, but keep undercover, because there's every chance that Blue Force is already in this sector. The explosion could be a trick, and they may be waiting for us. Very good, sir. Stanfield, come with me. On that double! Wait a minute, wait a minute. What's that dog doing? Uh, he's stealing my bag, sir. Seems he wants the medic to go over there with him, sir. That's where the explosion came from. Bates, look, it's a minefield. Yes, sir? It's there to stop Blue Force from getting to our ammunition storage. Really, sir? OK, OK, you and the medic better get over there fast. Yes, sir. Uh, good idea, sir. Medic, come with me. Right, Sarge. 
Bates, Bates. Just a minute, just a minute. That dog, that dog, he could be a Blue Force decoy. He might lead us into a trap. <laughs> well, it's just a thought. You know, I mean, you can't be too careful, right? Now, uh, sir. Pretty smart, some of those dogs. Yes, sir. Nothing's funny, Stan. <laughs> you stay here. <laughs> All right, you can move that tank into your next position. We must be out of the mine areas by now. There are trees here. I see an old building of some sort. It's a long way. Can you make it? I can make it. All this electronic gear and a dog that's been trained can smell out explosives faster than we can find them. Right, sir. OK, all right, we trust you. We're coming. I know this place. I came by here once with my dad. It's not used for anything anymore. You know this area better than I do. No, I thought I did. Let me just try and get this door open. Okay, it's all clear. Here, just sit right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, you stay right here, and I'm going to go get some help. Please don't. It's dangerous. There's no sense of us both getting hurt. But this is all my fault. Wait. What's your name? Linda. What's yours? Ken. If your father's stationed here, how come you didn't know about the war games? I, I don't live in the camp. I go to a stupid boarding school. What are you doing here? Because I hated the place bunch of dumb girls trying on makeup and stuff like that. I ran away. Base life isn't that great, but at least it's home. Yeah. Red Fox here. We found the spot, sir. No sign of any casualties. All right, then get on back. We can't hold up the rest of the exercise. Very good, sir. We're on our... What is it, Sergeant? The dog, sir. He's found something. He's found a pair of glasses, sir, or, or what's left of them. There's blood on him, Sarge. There's blood on the eyeglasses, sir. But there's no sign of anyone? No, sir. Well, whoever it was couldn't have been badly hurt then, right? Either that or his own medic took care of him. All right, Sergeant. Uh, meet me at reference point Alpha. And forget that dog. But, sir, I think we or should... Blue Force will get the jump on us. Yes, sir. Red Fox out. Let's go. My dad's a captain now. The trouble is, the higher he gets, the less time he has with the rest of us. He spends all his time giving orders. All right, men. The Red Force ammunition store is in quadrants. We've got exactly 14 minutes to find it and destroy it. Now, Red Force is going to be expecting us, so we have to get them before they get us. We're just one sector in this operation, and if you let me down, you'd be sorry you ever got into this army. Any questions? The only thing Red Force doesn't know is we're right behind them. Let's go.
So I joined the army to make friends and learn about electronics. So far, I haven't done much of either. What's the matter? Linda, I think I can see you. It's just a blur, but I can see something. I'm sure of it. What is that? Is that the dog? Yeah, it's the dog. He's back. Hello, fella. Did you bring anyone with you? How you doing, fella? There's nobody there. Ken, I gotta go for help. No, don't. The maneuvers will be over at 6 o'clock. What time is it now? It's 10 to 6. Why don't we relax for 10 minutes? Then it'll be all clear, and then we can go out. I guess you're right. In the meantime, perfectly safe here. Time's up. Okay, Come just on. a minute. Hurry up. Hold still. Four. Three, but that's pretty close. <laughs> Make out light and shade. I can almost see your face. I bet you're very pretty. seem to be causing trouble. It's not your fault. I was the one that was stupid. <coughs> What's going on? I don't know. It's the dog. There's that dog again, sir. Never mind a... <sighs> Never mind about the dog. You're supposed to be looking for blue forms. Yes, sir.
need eyes in the back of your head if you're going to stay alive in this business, Sonny. And what do we have here? Well, well, well. Thank you very much for saving me a whole lot of work. I hope the rest of Blue Force is having it this easy. Seven minutes, men. Let's move it. Bring that rocket launcher. Come on, move it. Were you supposed to be involved in this exercise? Not me. I don't even know how to drill properly yet. My father lives for the army. That's why he sent me away. I don't think my mom wanted me to go. He's just doing his job, I suppose. If he's a good officer, he has to take it seriously. I know. I just wish he didn't take it quite so seriously. Binoculars. What's he up to, Captain? He doesn't know it, but he's just tipped us off. We'd be smart to give that area a miss. It's mined. So let's be smart and take his advice. Let's loop around there. So you're going to run away from school. Do you want to know something? This morning, I made my mind up I was going to run away from the army. <laughs> Probably saved me from getting court-martialed. You stay in the army now? How long will your father be stationed here? Mm, at least another year. Then I'll stay in the army for at least another year. I thought there was supposed to be a target in the window. Never trust intelligence reports. In this business, you always got to expect the unexpected. And always come prepared. It's almost six. I'm kind of sorry to see it end. Yeah, me too. something. Hey, Doc. What you got there, fella? A handkerchief? I haven't got time to play. All right, let's see how good you are. Use an incendiary bullet. Hit that and boom! What the? Hold your fire. I want you to put a rocket in there. Move! Move it! But, Captain, the rocket launcher, it's not in the book. Oh, get the book. We have a target to destroy. Ready? Wait, wait! The dog! He's going inside! seconds left. I've got no choice. What about the dog, sir? Forget the dog. We destroy the target. Fire when ready. <gasps> Don't shoot! Red! Red! Linda! Thank <laughs> you. 
Are you all right? No. God, my God, you could have been killed. The dog, if it hadn't been for the dog. It's all right. We're okay. We're okay, take it easy, Linda. It's all right. Next time, let people know you're coming. I will. Because next time, you might not be around to help me. Well, us. <laughs> That's right. Thank you, boy. Very much. If uh, your father doesn't mind, would it be all right if I took you out sometime? For a movie or something? That would be nice. <laughs> as much as I do. Until tomorrow, the whole world is my home. 